The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The power of the gospel the church gives us today can be lied by the brevity of it. But it certainly is a scripture passage that most of us probably know and could recite by heart or at least get close to it by heart. What a kind, personal invitation from a compassionate God. Come to me. Come to me. When Jesus walked the earth, he certainly saw all those who were labored and heavy burdened and knew their need for rest, their need for refreshment, their need for renewal. He saw people who struggled under the weight of labor, under the weight of shame, of guilt, of all the religious laws they were supposed to keep, under illness, under demon possession, under so much more. And throughout his life, throughout his ministry, we find he meets all that with compassion, with mercy, with kindness, with strength, bringing rest and hope and peace to those who come to him in faith. Come to me, all you who labor. Certainly, that still happens in the world today, people in all those situations and more. Beside the normal personal struggles of just having life and being in relationships, that we would normally be having in this time, there's so much more that we face as a people, as a country, as a world. The pandemic, obviously, and for those of you who live in this part of the country, you know that as of yesterday, pretty much all the restrictions came back into play. We're sort of back where we were at the end of March when we began sheltering in place, kind of there. And that's heavy and that's hard for a lot of people. We deal with a nation and a country and even families that are torn apart by very divisive, often nasty and cruel uh, rhetoric and uncivil conversation around political parties or any number of social and political issues. Things seem very, very difficult right now, very burdensome, very heavy, hard to hold up. And into all that, Jesus says, come to me, come to me. If we find our own personal burdens are getting too heavy to bear, it may be that we're trying to bear them alone. And if the journey that we're trying to walk is getting really hard to navigate, it may be that we're trying to walk it alone. God invites us to find rest in him. You see, his reaction to the pain, the suffering, the division, all those issues that we struggle with that can bring us down and break our hearts and make us give up, <clears throat> God deals with them very differently than we do. Whereas it's human nature more often than not to avoid or minimize pain, God essentially says, bring it to me. Bring it. Let me bear it. Let me help you with it. One of the greatest struggles people have right now is simply this. They feel alone in what's happening. And the gospel assures us today, you're not unless you choose to be. Come to me is the invitation. But there's another challenge in the gospel today as well. And that is the last thing we hear Jesus say, my burden, light. How's that for a challenge? Yes, I know we normally look at that and think, well, obviously whatever cross perhaps we bear, whatever struggle we have to bear with Jesus, helping us carry it is light in terms of weight, in terms of effort, in terms of what we can do. But I've long read this phrase in a very different way. My burden is light, to be light in moments of darkness, to be light in moments of struggle, to be light in moments of hopelessness, to be light when there doesn't seem to be much light. We as followers of Jesus, like him, are burden light, to be light in the world right now. 
There may have been moments in history when the world needed light more than it does now, but none of us have lived in those times. For most of us, this is a time of a lot of darkness. And what the world needs from Christ's chosen ones is light. Is there a burden today that you need to take to Christ who says, come to me, bring it? Is there somewhere in the world today that you, you can be light, God's light? We're invited both come to God and to go forth from God, bringing our burdens and leaving light.